wait. Aww. It was going to play a dirty pasta clip, but it didn't. Um, start with this, because I'm always uh, worried when it comes to a poster, because there's a lot of not safe work posters hidden in this house. They're not for guests, they're just for me. And I think this one is not not safe for work. This one is for Princess Pasta. And Pasta will get it, and then she'll see this unboxing, she'll be like, oh, you're so sweet, but you did it with your shoes off, so just looking at your feet, Zeus. You're a foot slut. Um, one of the rules that you're not supposed to break is never buy another person art. That's a rule. D don't, like, oh, that's a pretty picture, but my grandma would like to hang that in her den. But maybe you can get away if, you, if it's grandma and you're like 10, but normal people don't buy other people artwork because that's kind of insulting. Yet, I bought this, um, thinking of Princess Pasta, because, I, I mean, she doesn't like to think this apartment is, like, part hers, but it's part hers. She's here all the time with me. I feel it. Why'd I put down the knife? And I saw this on Amazon, and I, if I asked her, she'd be like, no, that's stupid, don't buy that. Did I just make this harder to, to open? Come on, I only got, like, ten minutes. I put it in my pocket. Why would I do this? I feel like this is the worst, most difficult unboxing I've ever had to do. This is a poster. Oh, it's beautifully shiny. That's never going back in there. Ever. Oh, beautiful. Glass Animals Zaba. This is the, um, the album art, but like blown up. And I know she loves it, and I probably have overplayed the album like a million times. But that is a really nice printout. And I'm sure she's gonna be like, well, it needs a frame now, so now I'm gonna have to find a frame and actually hang it up. Because, you know, one of the reasons you get into vinyl and things like that is because of the artwork. So if you could just buy the artwork, you're just gonna have to, uh, believe me, then I tell you it looks really good. It's got a little bit of a lineage across there, and it needs to be straightened the fuck out. Go to the Amazon page if you want to actually see the whole thing. It's just too hard to um, to manage right now. Jesus Christ. Where's the floor? How does the floor even react? Oh, look at that. It's straight through. <gasps> that means you could light this up like a movie poster from behind. And it'll look even better. Oh. That's kind of fucking sweet. This wasn't that expensive either. Right, I'll deal with Glass Animals Zappa later. I'm glad that's what that was. Now I can take this black plastic tube, combine it with the white plastic tube to make it some sort of super tube. And moving on. Little box. Or, or this. Move everything over. I guess this first, then little box. This is heavy. Whatever's in this, this is one of the heavier things I've ever gotten in this. Um. Oh, okay, yes. I use these for packing material now. I stopped collecting them to actually ship things, and I just fold them up and put them in boxes with things. Because packing material is expensive. This is a 15-foot flat HDMI cable. And the reason I needed a 15-foot flat HDMI cable is because in this room, in this room, Here's monitor, flat cable coming off of it, going down the monitor arm, all the way down under the desk. It was going all the way across, all the way to where the computer used to be. Now the computer's there because VR happens in that room and I needed it closer to that room. So there's still a 25 foot cable. And there used to be a signal uh, booster and it used to go into that and it used to be a whole fucking thing. Now it's short. And every once in a while I'll be sitting here looking at my computer and it'll just go black and then come back on. And that's just from 25 feet of HDMI uh, with 4K60 and it does not like it. So this is going to replace that. And this is a beautiful cable, jeez. Jeez, like I'm just gonna give this a roll right now. Ah, ah, ah. And I went with flat because flat seemed to work really well with going into this and fitting in all the channels and it just, I just like a thick, and that actually, if you go to the product page for that in the description, they offer that exact same cable in flat, normal, or thin. And it's like, well, I mean, 
maybe? This also came with a Zaba poster. Is it tape? That's tape. This double stick tape? What is this? I don't know what kind of tape this is. Why would they include this with the Zaba? So that's a StarTech HDMI. Hopefully that works great. Now, like, like promised, put that over there. I also use um, paper bags from like Chinese food for uh, packing material. I've gotten very creative. Very Native American, you know, use every part of the buffalo sort of with my shipping techniques. Because shipping shit is fucking expensive. This, this be IMs. Because I don't need anything but IMs now in my life. Jesus fucking Christ. Jesus shit balls Christ. The TRN V90s, which is a four balanced armature and one dynamic driver, 10 hybrid drivers in your mo What? Oh, they're counting both sides now? That's bullshit. I'm sorry, but that's that's a bullshit way to do it. That's like buying a fleet of fucking trucks and they're all V6s. And you'd be like, this is a 60 cylinder fleet of 10 vehicles. Who gives a shit how many are in total? I wanna know how many are in each. They're all six cylinder vans. This is a five driver, which is still impressive. But that's the exact same setup we got in the ZS10 Pro. So, ooh, I actually like how plain Jane they look. I'm just gonna pop them out, I'm not gonna... The wire... Oh, Jesus Christ, I just wanna pop them out. I just wanna pop them out. I wanna see the weight on them, they feel nice. Aluminum, lightweight aluminum, two pin, Ooh, they're a little bit slippery. Why is with my phone ringing today? Ugh, burb. Robocall. Robocall Monica from fucking Home Security. Like, that isn't a company. And then I asked the question, like, who is this again? And it paused. Oh, hello again. This is my... I think it was a robot. If it wasn't a robot, that woman was dead on the inside. Because that went way too, like... Hello again. It's like, I think I reset the robot. Interesting feel. I like the way they feel. A little textured aluminum going on. And real quick, I'm going to shove this down here because that doesn't fucking matter. You fuck. You don't fucking, I don't need instructions on a goddamn IEM. It's a nice bag though, I will say that. Um, yeah, similar wire to like what comes with the OH-10, which is... Pretty good, actually, considering the OHN are $190, and I very much doubt these are. So, put these to the side. Is this just a cable? I think this is just an add-on cable, however. That I'm interested in, because if you're going to send me an extra cable, it better be worth my while or balanced or something. And then I'm going to move on and make another... Um, this is the last of the unboxings for this second... Ooh, yeah, I don't, do I need to know what this is? This has a name on it, the TRN T1? When I ask in the future, someone can come and tell me, but I will, it's when I unbox the TRN T1 cable. That is yellow and black, so bumblebee colors. They actually twisted this around the cable, which is very rare nowadays. Ooh, you know what? I don't hate this. It's got a good feel to it. The color scheme is... I mean, it's better than gold and copper. Or what was it? It was gold and white. Three and a half millimeters, so not a balanced plug, which sort of sucks. Like, I really... I'm, I'm all for balancing IMs now. A nice aluminum. I think I've seen this, like, style before. That's black carbon fiber on black. We got black and white. We got a ball. It's, it's two pin. Okay, this is an acceptable upgrade cable. I just wish it was bound. I wish all things need to go to 4.4 millimeter and get over with. Here is um, pasta. If you want to link, look into my uh, order history. A tip, Tripo Win. Tripo Win. They sell this cable, which is kind of like that cable, only this is silver. 
uh, eight core? Are you eight core? Six core? And you can get any tip and any top. So if you want two pin, okay. You want MMCX, okay. You want shielded two pin, okay. You want 4.4 .4 Pentacon, okay. You want 2.5 balance, okay. You want three and a half, but all in one order page, $26 done. So that's the end of this unboxing. These are nice bags. That's a shame. Moving on.